Hello, it's day 27. Let's read Psalm 27. Psalm 27 of David The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked offends against me to defy me, it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. The war break out against me, even then I will be confident. One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek Him in His temple. For in the day of trouble, He will keep me safe in His dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of His sacred tent and set me high upon a rock. Then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me. At his sacred tent I will sacrifice with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice when I call, Lord. Be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says of you, Seek his face, your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my helper. Do not reject me or forsake me, God my Savior. Though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Teach me your way, Lord. Lead me in a straight path because of my oppressors. Do not turn me over to the desires of my foes, for false witnesses rise up against me, spouting malicious accusations. I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong and take heart, and wait for the Lord. In these passages, it is showing and conveying a confidence that we can put in God. And it says like, confidence, whom shall I fear? It's like the contrasting. And then also, light, salvation, and stronghold is a form of God's protection for us. And then, um, in this attitude of passages is an act of worship and in the house of the lord is the temple where god dwells and there it is a like a place for all of us to worship god together and it is showing an attitude of admiration and affection towards god it's responding to his love and protection and then in here verse 8 my heart says of you seek his face your face lord i will seek this is a personal attitude that David responds towards God's calling to seek Him. And then, may all of us also have an attitude of seeking His face. And seeking His face and also waiting on the Lord. Not a passive waiting and seeking, but with an action and also dependence and trust to Him. Because we cannot do all of this by our own self, but by grace, through grace and through by faith. That Jesus Christ has died on the cross for us and also resurrected on the third day, conquered all of the death and sins, that we are able to have victory over sin and that we are able to resist temptation by God's strength that God has given us and the Holy Spirit that God has instilled in us. And we are able to seek Him because of the Holy Spirit that lives in us, that is yearning and that is hungry and thirsty for Him. And may we find our hope and also find our protection and our shelter and our dwelling place where we find comfort and worship is to the Lord only and may we put our hope in Jesus only and not in the things of the world that will have its vanity and that's all for the this passage that I learned and may you share yours too that we're able to learn from one another and building up one another thank you and I'll see you tomorrow God bless you